Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition where today's episode is a little bit short uh, due to editing uh, previous segments and this episode is the last part of the live stream and it is also not edited because I have run out of time <laughs> but I hope you all enjoy it's still I guess more of like the ASMR stream vibe so if you like that you're in for a treat so I hope you all enjoy and I'll start the video in a second <laughs> Geth activities. Armstrong Nebula. Hang on, okay, hang on. First, I'm gonna save, and then I'm going to check my, check my achievements. Oh wait, I think I go this way. I need, okay, I need Garrus and Ashley. But I have to bring, well, I don't have to, but I will be bringing Tally out for this, so maybe Tally and Ashley? Complete the majority, oh yeah, there it is, Ilos. So I need to do neural shock, AI hacking, stasis, oh, I've done almost everything else, cool. AI hacking, neural shock, Okay. I was just curious. We can go back. But dang, 2017. That's a long time, Lash. Thank you. <laughs> That's crazy. Also, thank you. I know you're you're basically the only one here, and I appreciate that. That you're that you're chatting with me. Like I really do. So. But I, I don't know, I feel, like, I feel like it might put like weird pressure on people to be like the only one in the chat, so like don't feel like obligated to stay or anything. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna get water. It's my, it's my life, I do what I want, yay! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I always try to drink water when I stream. I used to do better, but I don't want to keep it in front of me now because my desk space, air quotes, is so small and I don't want to spill it. Maybe I'll keep it on the floor. Oh, where did I put it? All oh, right. Uh, what am I doing? Where am I going? I'm trying to be. So there's like a bunch of geth activity. A large fighting force in the Armstrong. Yep, and then we just gotta go to a bunch of stuff in the Armstrong Nebula. Mm, we only used one meta gel, so we should be fine. I don't need to go fill up a mini gel. Oh yeah, first. Message coming oh. in from the brass at Arcturus. Patching it through. Normandy, wow. Admiral Hackett Crazy. here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in geth activity it's in the like Skillion I'm here Verge. For that. Surveillance drones have identified geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong cluster. We need someone to take them Because there's nobody out. else in this whole Any entire what they're after? freaking fleet. Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit-and-run attacks or on the worse, colonies. Or worse, a.k.a. demon mach machines from... Dark space are coming in. No wonder nobody believes Shepard. Honestly, that was such a, it's such an odd thing. Like it's such a like conspiracy theorist, like wild hair, like idea. You know that like giant sentient like machines are like coming in to destroy us. You know, like I, a part of me is like, I mean, I don't, I. There are parts where, like, I feel like I have just enough evidence to convince people, but then they're like, no, we don't want to believe it, so it's a little frustrating. But for, like, your average person, if a shepherd walked over and was like, yo, demon space machines, they'd be like, okay, you need help, and I would totally understand. It could be the first wave of an invasion. Oh, Grammy! Oh, my Let's gosh, Grammy, up. hi! <laughs> oh, we you need someone you to investigate this, Shepard. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting the Geth. You're the logical choice to no, take out these I, I'm literally the only person, apparently. 
We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. Bye, Grammy. I remember now. Yeah, you never, you never were like, bye. So, yeah, thank you. And yeah, and that's the thing. Is like, I, I'm the kind of person that puts streams on. Like, I didn't mean to, like, I don't know, do any weird call-outs or anything. But, like, I'm the kind of person that puts a stream on and generally has it in the background, you know? So... And I will be playing Final Fantasy later tonight, you know what I mean? I'll have to tell you how it, like, how it goes, I guess. I'm, I'm excited. I took like six hours to download last night. This is a cool planet. Uh, unsavory characters from the Terminus systems occasionally is managed for forms of cruel sport, dumping slaves, hostages, quarreling, shipmates, or even when bored, vicious animals on the surface. One must kill the other before they'll be rescued from the lethal radiation of the giant stars. Whoa! You like listening to streams when you play? Yeah, it's relaxing. I, I do that a lot, especially if it's a game like, like I don't know, like an MMO or something like that. Or basically any Final Fantasy game. I will, when I'm grinding in Final Fantasy XII, the solo RPG game, I'm like, I put on podcasts or I'll put on streams in the background. Yeah. Ooh, a Turian insignia. It's a hydrogen and gas giant with traces of sodium vacuum in the atmosphere. Ooh. Not much going on in this system. Just geth. Well, it's a reason, there's a reason why the geth are out here is because there's not a lot going on. So I'll bring Tali and... Oh, who was it that I needed still? It was, it was, it was Ashley and Liara, right? I'll bring Ashley, because um, I'm a little scared to just bring the squishies. I do need to bring Caden out, though, because he's the only one, I think, with Neural Shock. But I need to do AI hacking. I need to do Neural Shock and Stasis. So that would be something I would need to bring Liara or Rex out for. Okay. Yeah, uh, I, I will be playing Final Fantasy XIV online, like the free trial version, later today. Um, and then and I'll have to let you know how that goes. I'm, I mean, it was an absolute nightmare, though. It took us way too long. Like, I don't know, I got really frustrated trying to figure out how to download the... Here we go. Oh, no. Uh, trying to download the free trial version. Like, it was a nightmare. Let's do the Geth Outpost last. I think it took us like 45 minutes or something. And, I, and I, the only reason we got it to work was because a friend of mine who had down like two of my friends had it downloaded already. Um there's the planet the, the planet the sun. Look at that. Whoa. Um and one of them she was trying to help me and she was like, I don't know, like it's it's not doing it the same way it did it on mine. And I tried it for Steam and I tried it through the website and I kept having to I kept getting stuck on that stupid like you need a registration code thing. And it was just a nightmare. And I had a, I, w I gave up twice, and I had another friend who kept like dragging me back into it. She was like, "No, we're gonna do it this way," you know. And I was like, "Whoa!" And she finally, um, we were finally successful thanks to her efforts. But I got very grumpy, and I felt bad because I was I was not grumpy at anybody in particular. I was just grumpy that it was being complicated. Yeah, I'm excited. It looks fun. It looks like a fun game. I, I remember many put a big pin on this planet after Mass Effect 2 because of the two suns. Oh, yeah, this is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh, you're right. I didn't even. I was like, oh, it's the moon. But, like, that's stupid. That's not the moon. That is a. That's a sun. I can't, I can't see up that high. Um. Yeah. Come on, can I. 
can't tilt the camera up. I can't tilt the camera up that far. What? That's garbage. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I ever realized that. I bet you he was here. I bet you he was just chilling on this planet. Especially because, like, this was an area used for, like, cool sport or whatever, and it's close to, like, the terminal systems, and, like, it's super remote. Although, to me, I, I bet you the elusive man, though, because people do come here for cool sporting activities, he probably wouldn't want to hang here because he doesn't want to be discovered by anybody, let alone, like, you know, the unsavory types. Am I missing something here? Is that it right there? Oh, whoa, it's so tiny and hard to see. Terrain insignia. Oh, the strange new sensor has ancient graffiti. Nice, that was, that was very tiny. Oh my gosh, that's such a, that's such a good idea though. This is such a good idea for the elusive man thing. Where you've been chilling. Because he's got to be somewhere. Oh, an odd skull. Oh, I thought it was. Oh my gosh, it is a skull. This massive skull is scored by deflected mass accelerator shots. The xenobiology files in your heart's so your computer can't identify the species. It must have been brought here from an unknown world. Yo, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's a dragon. No, it actually looks like a snake, honestly. The way the jaw is, it looks like a giant snake. Is this an Easter egg from something? I mean, snakes don't have teeth like that, but it looks like it would be a giant look, giant snake looking thing. You believe the color of the sun that he sees, like it was just a filter which changed it. Oh, so you think, oh, that makes sense. That he just had like a fancy, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, for what he sees in aspect to him. Because he's a very wealthy man and enjoys the finer thing in life. Like scotch and, and whiskey? I don't know. Puts the, is it scotch and a cigar that he puts in the, 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 the shop? I don't know the difference between scotch and whiskey. They're all the same to me. Anyway, this is a planet where they bring a bunch of like animals die. So that's why we found that giant snake skull. I can't imagine trying to transport something like that here and having it die. And the fact that we can't recognize it on our ship's hard suit computer, like, that's kind of crazy. Now we go wee all the way over here. Just you wait till we get to Amaranthine. It's like this planet in that sun, but perfect. I don't know if I if, if there's like a specific reason to go to Amaranthine. I don't think you can. Oh my, yeah, you can land on Amaranthine. Sure you land. Yeah, you can land on Amaranthine. Um, it might be one of those things you just kind of stumble upon as you explore, but. Once I start having to go ham trying to find um, minerals, I'll definitely stumble upon a few more quests. I know there's one where you actually find Rachni. We haven't found that one. Where there's like a listening base that we have to help out. We have to like get out and like we either have to use the Mako or like get out and use their defenses to like help them out. Um, it's, a, it's an alliance listening post, and there's like rack, there's like waves of rachni that weren't the rachni queen's babies. Um, like that she was, and she was like, "I promise I won't be a jerk anymore." She keeps that promise. It's um, dang it. <laughs> it um, it's something that Cerberus did, or no that, what's his name, Saren did beforehand, he like put some out there in the world without anybody knowing be 
really enjoying Final Fantasy XIV more than you thought you would. It's a pretty good main quest line and some fun side quests. I'm excited. Like, I honestly, last night, you know, it was like 45 minutes in, and I was like, I don't know. I don't, I don't think any game is worth this, this much for us, and maybe it isn't, but I am excited, especially because I do have friends who play. I mean, it looks interesting. And it's gotta be good if it's kept a lot of the, like, it drew a lot of that crowd, like the WoW refugees, I guess, is what people would call them. And it's kept them, I think, as far as I can tell, you know? It's not just like, God, I found three minerals on this planet. Not just like, oh yeah, we played it for a bit, it was alright. The WoW Exodus. And it was already like, you know, people were like leaving slowly. But I think WoW just has so much more competition now. It's not necessarily WoW's fault. I think WoW's still a good game, despite what all the crazy say. All the people who are like nuts and like build their whole life around WoW and they're never satisfied with it. Um, I think it's still a good game. I just think there's just so much competition now. I mean, and more, I guess more competition that people are, like, finally recognizing as, like, a good alternative. Like, Sword has been around for a while. You got Final Fantasy XIV now, you know, you got Elder Online, which I think is a few other base papers. a lot of games for a lot of people and all different play styles. was a road I was supposed to take up that I didn't take up. It's covered with get uh, turrets. I take my own way. Oh, I remember this. I remember trying to do this on foot when I was trying to, when I was doing my new game with my new game plus. And I was trying to get the, the All the XP I could to level up, because it takes so freaking forever to level up. So I was fighting everything on foot, and this was a nightmare.
anything cool to pick up? No? Okay, off we go. Host systems mission in. Is this the Horsehead Nebula? Back in the old days, fight everything on foot for normal XV. Oh, it was a it was a trip. Where are we? Armstrong cluster, not the not the horsehead nebula. We're in the Armstrong cluster. Horsehead Nebula is where Tim's base is at. I love that, like, the elusive man. What is the word? Acronyms into Tim. Like, I really hope his first name is actually Tim. Tim Elusive Man. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I love it so much. Did we actually? Oh, you're right, we do, because in the Mass Effect 3, we do actually go to his base. But look, it's similar coloring to the stars that were in that system. I, my, so I should probably get going. My sister and I are gonna play Stardew Valley in like 15 minutes, but she's really excited and keeps texting me, so. So I'm gonna go and play with her for a bit. Um, maybe someday we'll have to stream, but I think she's gonna tell me a lot about, they, they just started school, they just moved to a new state, and so they're in a new school and everything, so I want her to be able to just like, blah, let it out. Um, so we're gonna chat while we play Stardew, but. Um, thank you, Lash and Grammy, especially. Uh, I know other people kind of came in and popped in and out, but uh, thank you too for, for for sticking it out with me for a few hours. I appreciate it. It's it's always more fun to do these side missions with with friends. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a good day and a good week. His real name is Jack Harper. Lame. I, I, no, I've, I've I've forgotten it immediately. His real name is Tim. Um, but yeah, I should be back streaming again this weekend, and hopefully we'll have Dragon Age Inquisition up, but... Jack, Jack Timmy Harper, <laughs> there you go. Okay, I'll see you guys later, have a good week.